Hello my health savvy friends, it's Dr Tom here and today we're going to be taking a look at health apps that can help you kick the habit of smoking. Now I just want to start by acknowledging how hard it is to quit smoking. You've probably already heard about the risks of lung cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, premature skin aging. So I'm not going to go over all the facts and figures for you because you likely already know this. But what I will recognise is that nicotine is incredibly addictive. I've worked with patients who have overcome heroin addiction, cocaine, gambling addiction, alcohol difficulties, and smoking is very often the last thing to get knocked on the head. Many people now move on to vaping, which is a lot safer, it has to be said, you've got none of that tar that increases your cancer risk, but it still uses nicotine, so you are still heavily addicted to this substance that becomes hard to get off of. And the challenge is, more children than ever before are vaping and getting exposed to this really addictive substance. So what are our options? Well, whereas in the past everyone had to use a patch or gum, there are now lots of digital psychological options that can really help you overcome the addiction. And today, I'm going to be taking you through three of my favourite stop smoking apps. The first app is Smoke Free. It costs from £1 a week, though you can get a 7 day free trial, and it's a great app for someone that needs some motivational strategies, but also likes a little bit of gamification to their apps. So the first thing that we come across is the dashboard and here you can see some general progress markers on how I'm doing. And this is set up on a tablet so the screen is a little bit different on the mobile phone but the content is still the same. So you can see right there at the top I can see how many days I've been smoke free for which is pretty cool. I can scroll down and I can see exactly what being smoke free is doing to my body. And you can see how it's going through different milestones and each of these literally just ramps up slowly minute by minute or day by day so that's uh, another really great feature bringing home to me the health benefits i can see financially how i'm benefiting from kicking the habit there's a, a kind of facebook group i can join you can see some missions cravings we'll go into those sections later and my achievements, so my badges as I kind of progress through the app and achieve different health milestones. If I click into support, this opens up a kind of digital chatbot coach and now Smoke Free does provide some evidence behind using the chatbot, so it says using the chatbot can double quit rates, but I actually found that the conversation with the chatbot was in that dynamic. I mean you can see here from a conversation I had yesterday um, that the chatbot really struggled to understand difficulties I was having around my cravings and I kind of said you know I was having cravings the triggers seemed to be other people smoking around me and the chatbot really struggled to understand what I was getting at so I found that a little bit limited but others might have more success. Going to the diary I can record whether or not I've smoked that day and what the level of my cravings are and then the cravings tab um, I can add particular cravings including kind of saying how I'm feeling and maybe what the context is and then over time I can analyse the information to see if there are any recurring triggers that, um, that kick off my cravings. In this cravings section as well I can explore a number of different tips as well uh, that can kind of help me banish my cravings so I can kind of tick a few of these um, here we go, and they save in my favourites. So I've got a toolkit of strategies I can deploy there when I'm getting my cravings. And then I can go into missions. And again, Smoke Free does provide some advice, some um, evidence for this. It said that the daily missions seem to be uh, a kind of significant factor as to whether people manage to stay off cigarettes. Each day allows you to access different missions. You can see this is my mission for today. Um, I would work through it, um, use a particular mantra, in this case it's not another puff, puff no matter what, and then I just complete the mission once it's done. Um, and you can see here, I, I can't race ahead and do missions from you know the next couple of weeks, it is just a daily mission um, in order to make sure that there's regularity I guess to the app. So overall I really love this app, there's a lot of publications and research the app's been involved in, it's got a really large credible scientific committee behind it. It's also registered as a medical device with CE mark certification which is a really important thing. 
Um, also in 2020, I'm just reading, it was also declared to be the most recommended app by healthcare professionals, which is a lot of kudos. But areas where it could improve, I thought the chatbot felt a little bit clunky. It is something that separates this app apart from other solutions like it, but it didn't work too great for me. And also I found there was no information here about nicotine replacement products like e-cigarettes or patches. Um, so that might be an area where it could build on in the future. In addition to the weekly cost, you can also pay $24.99 as a one-off payment. And that also gets you four weekly check-ins from another human being using the app and also allows you 24-7 access to a team of advisors from the National Centre for Smoking Cessation Training. The second app is called Craving to Quit. It costs £22.99 per month and is great if you're someone that likes doing a lot of introspective work and is also a little bit familiar with the principle of mindfulness. It's also one of the few apps that helps you to stop vaping too. Craving to Quit is a three-week based video course and each day you go into this top column, begin, and you will be taken through different video programs. So you can see today's program is very much about goal setting. Um, yesterday's was very much about introducing the concept of mindfulness. And then here you can see you've just got a forum of different people that are also going through the program with you. And you can split that into messages about cravings, um, kind of Q&A, um, and you've got the ability to add to that forum as well. If I hit lessons, um, this, is, this is another way for me to access some of those video modules and I can also look ahead and see some of the other modules. You can see that these are hidden between a paywall, so I'm just using a free version of the app for now. And you also have the opportunity to go into themed weeks, which from what I can see are just more detailed, uh, more detailed programs focusing, uh, it's kind of like a deep dive into a particular uh, idea or strategy like loving kindness, meditations, dealing with procrastination, that kind of thing. Hitting tools, I can access a number of different mindfulness content, mindfulness audios. I can also check in and record just how my symptoms are, and you know, if I'm getting any withdrawal effects. Going into my coach, if I've got a premium package, this is an opportunity to speak to a member of Dr. Judd's team and get a bit of one-to-one -one advice. This is quite interesting, the Wantometer it's called. And this is basically, it takes you through a really mindful approach to smoking or vaping. So I've got it set up for vapes, I just wanted to try that out. And you literally are encouraged to think about the taste, the texture, the smell, how it made you feel as part of their mindfulness program. And this gears button then kind of explains their their methodology and their overall approach. So the idea is you shift gears and each gear represents a different stage of mindful awareness of your smoking or vaping with the idea that eventually you disassociate it a little bit. Um, premium just takes you to some premium features and in an account I can just change some, some very basic settings. I really like with this app that it is limited to three weeks. I think three weeks sounds like a really doable length of time. And I also really like the approach of using mindfulness. I think mindfulness will benefit a lot of people outside of smoking, whether they're wrestling with other, um, other unwanted habits or behaviors or struggling with their mental health. It's a great technique to know how to employ. I think the downsides are being a video-based program, you really do have to sit down and do it. And if you're struggling to find time in your day, you might struggle to, to manage the program. The other thing is there was some research done looking at this and comparing it against simply journaling how you felt during your stop smoking journey. And they found that at six months, there was virtually no difference in abstinence rates. Where the app did seem to help though is reducing the relationship between craving and actually having a cigarette. So potentially helps with craving, but doesn't seem to do an awful lot more than just keeping a diary when it comes to helping you stop smoking. The final app is NHS Quit Smoking, which is a free app. It's great if you're in that first 28 day period of quitting smoking, and it's great if you're confident enough to have a go at quitting smoking independently and you don't need the external support that the other apps provide. This is the homepage of the NHS Quit Smoking app. And you can see on first glance, it's very similar to Smoke Free. We start with charting our progress. You can see I can view how much money I've saved, um, what my motivations are. You're encouraged to set this up when you're creating a profile, some information on cravings there. And I can also view my progress from, um, from a health perspective. So this is everything that's going to change in my health 
as I progress through my stop smoking journey. If I go back, here we go, I'm gonna scroll up now to the weekly guide. So if I click into the weekly guide, this takes me through basically a day by day, week, week by week series of articles and missions again. Um, I love this concept of missions. If I click on view all missions, you can see they're split up by weeks. So um, let's say I click on here, then it will give me a task to complete for that day uh, as part of my, my weekly stop smoking journey. Going back then, I can also each week access different articles which are suitable to support my journey as well. If I go back to the home page then, I can also access some, um, some advice and support around cravings. So these are just a few uh, advice, some hints and tips on dealing with cravings. Interestingly, I love this. Um, those who were children of the 90s will remember Snake on everyone's mobile phone. So they basically recreated this as a way of dealing with your cravings. Um, yeah, massive fan of this. Um, it's just a little bit of fun, really. I can also hit the progress tab. Um, I can record how I'm feeling. And again, this just gives me another breakdown of financially how I'm benefiting and health-wise how I'm benefiting. And they also employ badges like the other apps as well, so I can chart my progress and depending on milestones I hit with regards to my health, the money I'm saving, the articles I'm reading, the missions I'm completing, I'll collect badges as I go along, so really motivational. If I hit diaries, um, this is a way I can add particular reminders, see my streaks, and I can also access a lot of similar articles and the missions again. And on Discover, there are a huge number of articles here. I counted 34 when I checked earlier today. Um, and they cover all sorts of things, including cravings, pregnancy, and using stop smoking aids. I think what I particularly like about some of these articles as well is for those that are based in the UK, they have a lot of links to other NHS sources, whether it's um, stop smoking clinics, whether it's just online advice and guidance. So I like the fact that it plugs into the NHS infrastructure. Overall, I love this app. It seems to have a lot of the features of Smoke Free. It's very gamified, a lot of great behavioral change techniques in there. And although there are bits missing, like it doesn't have the AI coach, it doesn't really allow you to analyze cravings, much of the other stuff is the same. But this app is completely free. I think perhaps the only things that I don't like so much about it is I couldn't really find much evidence behind success rates of people using this, so they don't have a great research team behind them like some of the other app developers. And the other thing is the UX is a bit clunky. Um, you know, you've got these four different icons at the bottom, but generally a lot of the stuff is repeated. Um, it's not super intuitive where I go to look for badges or missions and stuff. So if you're someone that's not very tech savvy, you might get lost inside the app. But I think, frankly, for a free app that does so much, it would be worth giving a go. That's it for today's video. So we've covered Smoke Free, Craving to Quit, and the NHS Quit Smoking app. These are definitely apps you should have on your phone if you are a smoker, or you could be recommending to friends or family that's smoking and are struggling to either get off the cigarettes or even get off the vapes. I'll leave a link to all of the apps in the description below so that you can access them there. But also please don't forget to hit subscribe and to follow the channel. We have more videos like this coming out if you're someone who likes to take a more proactive approach to your health. Also leave some comments below. I'd love to hear from you, find out anything that you'd like us to cover or your thoughts on the channel. All that stuff really means a lot to me. But for now, that's everything and look forward to seeing you on the next video.